hey what's up uh, Jeremy here just working on a project uh, but since you're all along here uh, maybe I'll just give you a little bit of a lowdown and take you along for the ride on May 15, 2010, two of my friends, Styx and Marco, in a London, Ontario restaurant, goaded me into a competition. An insurmountable competition for some, but not for myself. At any rate, let's just give you a little bit of the background, a little bit of the premise of what happened. So at this restaurant, Styx and Marco were talking about NBA playoffs. They're making their bets, and Styx has a penchant for betting. Uh, they're talking about their bets, who would win, and then Marco, in Marco's voice, Oh, Styx! Why don't we ever bet Jeremy? And anyways, I'm sitting there, I'm like, because I'm not stupid enough to lose my money. Well, I'm not going to bet you guys and stuff. And anyways, they were talking, and then they're like, Marco was saying, all right, this one time, you must bet us. And then Six is like, yeah, yeah, power, yeah, yeah. And I'm just sitting there like, uh, okay, and stuff. And I'm like, do I have to? And I'm like, Jeremy, this one time, if you bet us, we will never bother you again. And so... I'm sitting there like, alright, it's probably going to be stupid. What do you got for me, guys? Alright. Jeremy, do you know that waitress at this restaurant? And I don't want to say which restaurant it is, but uh, you must kiss her for 10 seconds. What? Really? Like, okay. And he goes, if you kiss her for 10 seconds, do not break the lip seal. You will get... Iron Man 2 with popcorn popping candy, a meal of your choice, PlayStation 3 game of your choice, a Blu-ray game of your choice, $200, and I will let Sticks slap me in the face. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? I would die. I would pay, I would pay like a month's salary just to see, like, I just, I would just pay to see that. that everyone I know that knows those guys would pay would give their souls to see that moment in time. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, all right, well, when do I have to agree to this? When do I have to do it? And she's like, come on, just do it, just do it, do it, do it, do it. And that's how they talk and stuff. And when they get together, but when they're alone, they talk normal like this that we're talking right now. But when they're together, they tell me, yeah, come on, come on, Marco, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Marco's like, oh, stick, please. But anyways, I'm like, all right. So a few days later, I emailed them on Facebook. I copied my friends in the Facebook and I said, all right, if I do this, this is what I get, and I forgot to ma mention that in reverse, if they do that, then I get, uh, I have to pay them or actually give them Iron Man 2 with popcorn pop and candy each if I didn't do the bet. So throughout the week, they saw the Facebook message. They'll always say that they never had it, but then just a couple months ago, I went and I found it and I put it back in their face because I had it in writing, and later on, they tried to be like, oh, no, no, we didn't talk about that. We didn't talk. Come on, please. I have it in writing, sticks. <laughs> Anyways, with that bet, we had a football camp. I know one of the guys on here knows which camp I'm talking about. I'm like, I'm going to do it tonight. I don't care. I'm just doing it tonight, right? So Marco doesn't even show up. The guy just, oh, whatever. He's not going to do it and stuff. So Sticks is there. Our other friend is there. Her name is Jenna Lee. And they're sitting there and she's like, when are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? And stuff. So I'm like, oh, really? So I was kind of worried, to be honest, because I'm like, oh, what happens? And I know this is so childish, but it has to happen once. Like, I, I have to, like... They goaded me, and I never bet them, I never compete, but when I'm ready to compete, I'm ready to go, all right? So, long story short, say the waitress, because I, I, I didn't want, want to do it in the restaurant, so, uh, can you uh, meet me outside after for a couple seconds? So, she's like, okay, all right? So, what ends up happening, we go outside, people are like semi-circle around me and stuff, they're like, do it, do it, man, do it. And so, I'm saying like, oh my God, this is going, this is going to happen? So, um, like, I'm sweating right now. But uh, anyways, I'm like, uh, okay, you know, we've known you for so long. You know why tonight's special? No, why is tonight special? Oh, we've known you for like 10 years, like 10-year anniversary and stuff. And I just want to give you a big hug from all of us to you because you've been always so good to us, so nice and stuff. So she's like, oh, really? That's so sweet. So I was about to go, and then I go, oh, oh but wait, but wait, you know what? In our culture, if you give a kiss and stuff, it, it's actually good luck. So I was thinking maybe if I kissed you like a second for each year and stuff and she's like okay <laughs> what <laughs> so anyways Styx is like <laughs> like Styx has this laugh and he's like crying so I'm like oh god this is gonna happen so I'm sitting there she's like okay so I go in and I go to kiss her right and I'm like <laughs> go to kiss her and it was like two seconds it was like and then I break away I'm like or actually, she broke away. I'm like no 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 bad luck bad luck if you break away ten seconds so she's like oh, oh, oh I'm sorry I'm sorry so anyways oh god <laughs> goes in again 
and we're like kissing. This is like the longest I've ever kissed a girl. Like even like a girlfriend I've had. I don't even think I've kissed a girl that long. So I'm sitting there like I'm counting my head like one, two. I'm like shaking. I'm just shaking right now. telling it. So sticks in the background. All I hear is <laughs> like in his little laugh and stuff. So I'm sitting there and it's like I'm counting like nine. 10 and I break it. I'm like, thank you so much. He's like, oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. And da da da. And goes in the restaurant. And I'm like, what sticks? What? What? He's like, yeah, yeah. Now, now, no, no girls will never kiss you again. No girls will never kiss you again. It's a curse, man. Curse the Jade Scorpion. I'm like, come on, sticks. Right? And he's like, fine, you win, you win. So, anyways, I look at the girl that was with us, right? <laughs> I was just joking around. I'm like, do you think I'm going to be cursed again? And she goes right there, kisses me on the lips, goes, sticks, curse lifted. Oh, sticks, snap. <laughs> I just beat you twice. So, anyways, what did I get? Iron Man 2 with popcorn, pop and candy. I got a meal of my choice, which actually, <laughs> we went back to Dragons and I just ate, like just no limit, ate. Blu-ray of my choice, which is Saving Private Ryan. Uh, PS3 game of my choice, which is Transformers, $200. And now, there, it's in writing, like Sticks was supposed to open hand slap Marco in the face, it's in writing, but they're like, no, 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 that never happened, that never happened. So, Sticks is like, all right, all right, I'll just give you a meal. So Sticks and I are square, but Marco's just aloof out there. Anyways, the interesting part is what, what I did with that $200. A day later, I heard on a radio station, I don't want to say which one it is, but in the background of an ad, I heard Mike Tyson's punch out. And I'm like, oh my god, Mike Tyson's punch out. I haven't played that in like 20 years. So I was thinking about it. I had money. I'm like, oh, what the heck. Went on Kijiji and stuff. And I find like Nintendo and I find these games. So I'm like, oh, yes, yeah, Super Mario, punch out. Let, let's do this, right? So I sat there, got it for 40 bucks, had 160 left. So I kept doing that. I, I went on and I'd spend more money, got a couple doubles, and then I was like, oh, I don't need these doubles. So then I started selling it. Then I started buying, selling, trading. And from that $200, I'm not joking, I built a ridiculous video game collection within less than a year. We're talking like 25 systems, over 100 controllers, uh, over 3,000 games easily. Like, I'm going to show you, I'm going to rock your world in about a second. I'm going to take you through time in video game history. But before I do, there's a couple things I gotta do, and uh, you know, Sticks, you've known me for quite a while and stuff, and uh, you and Marco probably wonder why I've never bet you before in the past. Well, see, Sticks, I'm just not dumb enough to bet you guys. You know, because you have your little ways of your big gambling and betting and all this little stuff, and oh, I'm gonna win this and stuff, and I'm gonna win this. So, over the past 10 years, you know, I'm not betting you, but I'm watching you. I'm studying my opponents. I'm studying my opponents. You think you have the upper hand, Sticks? The thing is, you think you could win? I know I could win. That's the difference between us, Sticks. And that's why I took you and Marco out to town. But let's look at more of this competition. You know, this isn't just about competition competing to win. Right now, Sticks, see this? You know I'm half Filipino. This is about the Philippines versus Vietnam and Italy, Sticks. That's right, son. Today, Philippines is going to school. You know I'm a teacher, son. I'm going to school you in a second. But right now, I got the power glove. You know why? Now, you're playing with power. Power. So we're just gonna jack in right here, and you're gonna come along on a little ride, right? Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. Let's check it out. Welcome to my world, Sticks. Taking you to the candy shop, son. Look around you, Sticks. Look what happened. And today I'm gonna talk like you guys. I'm gonna talk like. Look at, look at Sticks. Look around you. Do you see? Do you see what I built, Sticks? Off your two hundred dollars. Look around you, Sticks. God, do you feel like a kid in a candy store? Because I sure do. So, let's take you on a little history, Sticks. Look what I got here, Sticks. One of the first video game systems, Sticks. An Odyssey, Magnavox Odyssey. I'm going to take you on an Odyssey. What's this, Sticks? A Vectric, Sticks. A Vectric. You don't even know what that... Pfft, you don't even know what that is, Sticks. Look at Lloyd's TV Sports. That was like 70s style, son. Pong. We're talking like the original system. You... Pfft. This is beyond your time, Sticks. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Coleco handheld sticks. Do you like Atari? Because I got a brand new Atari in box, Sticks. What? Brand new in box. You like Intellivision? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Intellivision, Sticks. Do you like ColecoVision Sticks? That's okay, because I got two. You know what? Maybe I'll even throw you one. I got the wheel, Sticks. I got all these pieces, Sticks. What's in here? What's this? Oh, dear God, as Marco would say. It's a Gemini, Sticks. What? Coleco and Gemini, Sticks? Please. You like games, son? You like games? Let's look at intelligence games, Sticks. What's this? Look at this, Sticks. Look at all these intelligent games. You like rare games, Sticks? These are some of the rarest games right here, son. Look at this. Masters of the Universe, Power of He-Man. You know what I'm talking about. Power. Look at that, Sticks. Brand new. Sealed, Sticks. Not even open. Brand new, Sticks. Where are you at? 
Where are you at? Let's look at some Atari sticks. Like Atari 2600, I got the 6 switch, I got the Darth 4 switch, I got the Junior, I got 7800. Sticks, you like games? Let's play some games, Sticks. Let's play some games, Sticks. You like that, Sticks? I got over 200 Atari games, Sticks. Where are you at? Please. Let's go now. Let's, let's bring it up enough. Another 10 years, Sticks. You like Sega? Sega. Let's check it out, Sticks. Look at I got Sega Master System. Sega Master System 2. The Genesis 1, the Sega CD Genesis Combo, Genesis 2, Sega Nomad, Game Gear, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, 32X, God Sticks, I even got it, like, I got double sticks in the box, complete with instructions. What? Sticks, you want some game tips? You want some game tips? Don't ever bet me again, Sticks. I begin where you end. You got it? That's the biggest tip of your life, right there. Sticks, you like games? Look at this! We got like loose, it's Musha, yeah. I got lots of games, Sticks, Splatterhouse, Double Dragon, Action 52. You don't even know how rare these games are, Sticks. Yeah, you like that? You like that, Sticks? I got more games, I got so many games, Sticks, I got games in there. I got games, I got games everywhere, Sticks. Look at that. Master System, Genesis. Look what I've built, Sticks. Look what I've built from your $200. Thank you, Sticks. Thank you for betting me. Thank you for helping me build Southwestern Ontario's largest video game collection in under a year. Thank you, Sticks. Let's go check it out. Let's bring it up again. 80 style. Let's go check out Nintendo Sticks. What you got? Look at over there, Sticks. That's a deluxe set. Comes with Rob the Robot. I got action set. I got the control set, Sticks. I got Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64, the Super Scope Sticks. Dang, what were you at? Look at all this, Sticks. Gold Nintendo 64. Atomic Green 64 Sticks. I got the NES Advantage over there. Where are you at, Sticks? I got the Advantage over you. Look at all this, Sticks. I even got like... <laughs> Up here, I got PlayStation 1 games coming out of my butt. I got Panasonic 3DO. Sticks, can you even compete right now? How are you going to defend yourself? Look at, I got another Rob the Robot, Sticks. Sticks, now you're playing with power. <laughs> Look at all these Nintendo games, Sticks. Take a minute. Look at it. Look, Sticks. Look at it. Where are you at, Sticks? What are you going to do right now? What are you going to do, Sticks? What are you going to do, Sticks? Do you like sealed games? Look at that. Legend of Zelda. Still sealed. Brand new. Brand new, Sticks. Mint in mint box. This is ready for AFA grading, Sticks. You don't even know what that is. You don't even know what that is, Sticks. You like GoldenEye, Sticks? You want to play more games? I got GoldenEye. I got 007 GoldenEye right there, Sticks. But you know who has the real GoldenEye, Sticks? That's right, baby. You know why, Sticks? Look into my eyes. I got the two golden eyes. That's right, Sticks. What do you got? Let's look over here. Oh, what's going on here? A Neo Geo. Is this Neo Geo, Sticks? I got the rarest video game system right here, Sticks. Neo Geo. What are you going to do, Sticks? Look at You don't even know what's going on, Sticks. You don't even know what's going on. <laughs> look at Sticks. I got PS3. I got Wii. Sticks, you don't even know what's happening right now. You don't even know what's happening. Sticks, I got Xbox. Look at this. The Halo Edition Xbox Sticks. I got the regular edition sticks. I got Turbo Graphics, Panasonic 3D. Look at all these game sticks. GameCube, Xbox, Xbox, PS2. What sticks? Look at Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD. What? Look at PlayStation One, Two, Three. You down with the OPP? Yeah, you know me, sticks. Look at all these Game Boys. Like a rainbow of flavor sticks. I could put Skittles in business. Look at sticks. Where you at? You want games? You want game sticks? Let's play a game, Sticks. What do you want, Sticks? What do you want, Sticks? Where you at? Where you at? Can you see all that, Sticks? Can't even compete. Let's look. What, what's up, what else, Sticks? What else we got here? Look, Sticks. We got Super Nintendo, Sticks. We got St Super Nintendo, Sticks. Where you at? Where you at? Look at all these games, Sticks. What are you going to do, Sticks? Look at all those games. Look at all those games, Sticks. Don't you feel like a kid at a candy store? Let's look at some of these rare games. I got like Super Mario RPG. I got Secret of Mana. I got Evo, Chrono Trigger, Earthbound 6. You don't even know what that is right now. You don't even know what that is. Look, let's look at Nintendo 64. Look at all these games, Sticks. Like another 100 games easily. Look at that. Look at that, Sticks. Look at that. I got all these rare games. I got Clay Fighter Director's Cut. Conquer is bad for it. Sticks, you don't even know what this is right now. You know how much this is worth, Sticks? Do you know how much this is worth? Better yet, did you know this is not even like three quarters of my collection? I have so much stuff I can't even put in here. So what's gonna happen come May 15th? Come the one year anniversary of 
Styx is a misfortune. Who will win? How are you going to defend yourself, Styx? Are you going to stop the internet? I don't know, Styx. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. Like, a year ago, I had a vision. And look it, Styx. Look it. And this is not even it. This is not even it. We're getting there, Styx. We're getting there. Alright? So, what's the lesson of today? This is what happens when boys think they can compete with men. Alright, Styx? Next time you mess with the Philippines, you better watch yourself, son. That's right, son. Alright, so we'll see you May 15, Styx. I got your misfortune coming right here. Power!